Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds, and we're here at the Tennessee Beekeepers Association Conference at Hyder Burks. I'm sure I messed up the title a little bit, but there are all kinds of vendors here. I've got to meet several of you, and it's been a blast. Also, thanks, buddy, for all that Alabama gear you gave me. That has been awesome for me, but I'm not sure. I might have lost a couple subscribers with all that Alabama memorabilia. But we have a lot of stuff going on over here. We've got Kelly's Bees. Um, they, these gals know what they're doing. they got a lot of cool products. I really like Kelly's, and if you watch our videos, you're going to see a lot of stuff that we use from Kelly's, and especially their Pro Sweet product that they have. And uh, this hive tool over here, which has become my favorite, it's uh, called the Kent Williams Hive Tool. And I really like the fact that it has a very thin edge right here. It makes it so much easier to get into your boxes and does less damage to the corners of your hives. Now, of course, having this hook up here is really nice as well. So you might want to check those out. Now, of course, they have all kinds of stuff here. And we got some of these products, so we'll be able to do those in our videos and show you how well they worked. And, of course, some of these things, there's right, a right way and a wrong way to use them. So we'll try to do them the right way. But if not, you'll get to see the wrong way. Now, we have all kinds of other products over here. I mean, we're going to be showing you around. So if you want to see all the different products that they have here, you're going to get to see a lot of it. Probably too much bee stuff, if there is such a thing. <laughs> of course, we have vaporizers, diatomaceous earth. We use those in the beetle blasters, also the beetle buster that comes from Australia. They use that as well on the bottom. We have that in one of our videos. You can see formic acid, the Midaway quick strips, the formic pro. We were not able to use that this year. I know a lot of people have asked about why we didn't do a video on that product. It's been too stinking hot pretty much the whole season, and we will get to that if we ever can get a nice window of time. Now, of course, we have products for feeds. I mean, they pretty much have everything. You really ought to take a chance and go up there to Clarkston, Kentucky, because they have a really nice facility where you can see all of the different products. And they're just, they're just everywhere. Just make sure that you have a budget and only bring so much cash, because if you have a check, they will take everything you have. I speak from experience, but no, they really have everything. So uh, a lot of people have asked me about feeding supplements and Pro-DFM. Some of us are, are tinkering around with this stuff, and some people really like it, some don't. I don't really have an opinion on that yet for those of you who have asked. I'm still trying to tinker that out. Uh, it takes a while to, to really get gather some good data. And also, you know, I'm just one guy. There's a lot of scientists out there that are working with these products, a lot of professional beekeepers. And those are the people I really want to see their opinion on more than anything because as much as I love science and all that stuff, it ultimately has to translate into healthy hives. And it can't just look healthy. It actually, you got to have side-by-side -side comparisons. There's a lot to it. So we'll try to help you out if we can. But ultimately, we're just a bunch of uh, country beekeepers. We're going to move on to the next booth because there's a whole lot more going on. But don't forget to check out Kelly Bee Stuff. And they did not pay for this promotion. Um, I just really like them. And all right, so we've got some other products over here. Bee suits. Um, we, I mean, just things from frame holders to lemongrass essential oil for your swarm traps, bee gloves. Of course, there's manufacturers from all kinds of different places. And check this out over here. You've got refractometers. You've got you know, queen marking kits, queen clips. I mean, just all different types of tools. Um, I mean, there's just everything at these conferences. That's why I really like this one. If you all are in the area, they do this every year. And you don't really pay that much to come to these conferences, I don't think, for all the speakers that they have here. And they have some really big names in beekeeping, some local folks, and some that they bring in from pretty far places. And, and beekeepers that do more of the type of beekeeping that we do, and some that do very different types of uh, beekeeping styles, which we'll be getting to. But also what I love about this place is you can get good discounts on equipment. You don't have to pay for shipping and stuff like that. So you have all kinds of stuff available. Now over here we have Oxivamp, our ProVamp 110. You can get those from here. You can also get several other options. You have the Florox. Um, you've got these um, other pan vaporizers. 
that are less money. And especially if you just have a few hives, you don't really have to jump up and get the big ones that are really fast. But these are going to help eliminate those pesky mites, especially during winter months when the bees are broodless. These things are invaluable as they do extremely well when there's little to no brood in the colony. Simply uh, on Capper over here, you can kind of see a little video over here. And they are really neat, especially I think for a small sideline. Um, and, and down to hobby, they work it really well. Great for clubs too. And, and, yeah, and just like he was saying, they're great for bee clubs. Um, they're very portable. You can see how it's just mounted on this tank right here. It's, it's just really handy. Um, there's several beekeepers that I know that use these things as well. And they're just a. Uh, they're simple, but they're very effective and, and, and very quick. There's some good YouTube videos as well online. You can look at these things right here. All right, coming on down. Some of these people are packing up a little bit, but you've got all kinds of stuff. You know, there's honey straws here. Um, there's people that are doing uh, honey exchanges at these things where you can bring honey and exchange honey with the other beekeepers from different states or different areas and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's honey signs, local made stuff, and, and just a lot of really cool things. Now over here we have the Man Lake booth. If you need to come through, come on through. Um, they've got everything from propolis traps. This is something that we're going to be using whoops, in uh, the future. And I'm, I'm really wanting to try it out. Propolis is, I think, one of the most underrated products in the beehive. We don't, uh, most of us don't have a lot of knowledge about it, and I definitely don't. I want to learn more about it. It's supposed to be very healthy. Watch out, Laurel. Here comes somebody. And so we'll be trying that out. They've got filters for your honey pells when you're extracting honey, and look how fine that is. That's just going to get all of your you know, pieces of wax or anything else that might get in there. And you can just stick that in the five gallon bucket. Of course, they have uh, your. Uh, valves here that you can even insert your own into a bucket, all kinds of things. We're actually going to be trying out some smoker fuel that is um, sold at these places just to see how they work. We got a couple bags today, so we'll be trying those out. I mean, there's all kinds of good books. I really like this one, by the way. I'm not, uh, you know, no one's paying me to do this advertising or anything like that. Just these are things that I've experienced that I've really enjoyed. This is a good book right here. It's got really solid information, nuts and bolts, very good blown up pictures, and it's like a plastic coating at least, um, where it's, uh, if you get water on it like me and you're always taking it outside, it's, it's going to last. Look at this chalk brood right here. Don't want to see that, but if you're having questions about what to look for, books like this can really help you out. So um, maybe check that book out, especially for you new beekeepers, that'd be really handy. Oh, I got this hive tool, by the way. I, I haven't tried one of these out, but I wanted to try them for years. So this is going to give me more reach for these short arms of mine. <laughs> Plus, it's orange, and my son really likes orange. So, look at this right here. This is a master queen grafting tool, and we might try these out at one point. But you get it down into the cell, and you just hit this lever here, and it goes up underneath the larvae and you're able to pick it up and drop it in a cell. I really want to try one of those. We're going to try to get one of those before too long. I might get one today. You never know. I haven't spent enough on bee equipment, I guess. We've got this queen rearing material. I mean, everything that you need, you can get here. You don't have to pay for shipping. It's a really nice. We got the formic. We got the hop guard too. I mean, basically you can get your treatments here. So maybe put this on your calendar for next year because they've been doing this for a very long time. There's some very good speakers and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is Man Lake products. We of course you got the drone frames right here. We use these as well. They're they're very good for removing mites through the drones or just raising drones for queen production. Um, of course, we have oxalic acid crystals here. These are for getting rid of small hive beetles and stuff like that. Let's see, what do we got? We have a, a place that sells plants over here. Um, well, there's a few plants over here. I believe those are Vitex bushes. This is um, our state apiarist um, booth, Mike Studer. And he's AWOL right now, but everybody wants him to do something. All right, so we've got a little bit of other equipment over here. These, these suits look really breezy. Um, I, I try one on a little bit. 
They're very ventilated. That's from Miller B Manufacturing. And look at this um, swarm hive right, uh, box right here. You can mount this. It's very lightweight, so that's really handy. Um, you know, of course, you see the videos where I use the heavy 10 framers, but the problem with those is when they get full of bees, honey frames, and all that stuff, they're very heavy, and that's why I'm a big proponent of just sticking them about chest height, and that seems to work very well for me. But for those of you who either can't handle as much weight or want to get them higher, something like this could really come in handy. I really like the fact that it's bigger than a five frame box because if it's uh, you know, too tiny, and you get a really large swarm, like the early prime swarms can be 8, 10, 12 frames of bees, they're not going to go into a 5 frame box. And if they do, they're only going to be around for probably a brood cycle, because they're going to raise a, even a bigger population. And because usually it's springtime, there's a lot of nectar and pollen coming in, it's going to stimulate them to swarm again. Bees will do that. So, of course, we got just all kinds of stuff over here. This is a beetle gel entrance trap. Um, it catches, I mean, look at the video up here, um, there's several different ways to catch small high beetles. I have not tried this one. It looks a little bit too laborious for someone like me, but that might be something for, uh, you know, a small hobby beekeeper that might work really well. I have no idea. It looks like they're made really good. The wood looks like it's poplar or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, maybe it's, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Look at all these plants over here. I really find this interesting. We don't have a lot of time to talk about this, but there's linden trees, also known as basswood. Basswood produces a really fine prime honey. There's a vodia or BB trees over here. They produce honey at a prime time of the year for many of us beekeepers in July and August. I'm really wanting to get some because that nectar is pretty much non-existent in July and August in my area. So if we could get several of these trees, and it would take a lot, but it would help our bees, and especially for those of you who are doing it for a hobby, again, you have the advantage on us who have a lot of colonies, is a few trees go a lot further for you than if you got 50 colonies to a yard. I mean, there's just plants all over the place. St. John's Ward, um, Bottle Brush, uh, American Mountain Ash, and a lot of trees are underrated, even though they don't produce a lot of nectar, so they're not known. Some of these trees produce a lot of valuable pollens, especially the hardwood trees, which are extremely valuable in the longest and highest quality raised brood, which is a, a big difference. The more you get into nutrition, the more you realize that the nutrition really determines on how long the bees live, and that's extremely important. We got a lot of really good books over here. Some of my favorites, this one right here, um, Dr. John Connor has some really good books. Um, this one right here is, is great. Um, this one as well. Um, now this is a book by GM Doolittle. If you're liking a book on history, this is um, just one that's been redone. I love GM Doolittle. He's one of my favorite beekeepers of all time. Um, there's just a lot of good books over here in general. This is um, um, Dr. Connor's um, newest book, and there's just a lot of really good ones. There's one over here on queen rearing essentials. I don't see it. I think it's probably sold out because it's extremely popular, and it, it's a good book. To own. They have a lot of really good pictures. There's a lot of other really good books over here. I, I've taken a look through this one. I really want that one. Um, this is also a really good book on I identifying um, nectar and pollen producing plants and, and propolis and other stuff like that. That's the cool thing about bees is there's just so much to it. Um, we could spend our whole lives and never run out of material to work with. This book right here and this one here, I own both of these and uh, Brother Adam has some great literature on beekeeping as well. Some different takes. Probably one of the greatest minds when it comes to genetics and honeybees. Of course, he was the one that came up with the Buckfast Bee, for those of you who know what type of bee that is. And it's rumored to not be near what it was when he was controlling it. It's probably the case, but I don't know that from personal experience. But the, especially the beekeeping at Buckfast Abbey is a really educational read, not only from a fundamental standpoint on beekeeping, but also just to see a different take and journey and time period on beekeeping. We've talked about this book a lot. Dr. Thomas Seeley's book on the honeybee democracy. One of my favorite books. One of my favorite newer books, that is. Um, really good piece of literature right there. And there's a lot of other good books over here, but those are the ones that I know that, that are just really good reads. Now, over here we had something, um, oh, I think it was about the Pollinator Partnership. Now, this is the Dadent booth. A lot of people are starting to clear out a little bit, but I'm telling you, these smokers right here, 
We just got another one we're going to be doing in a future giveaway and a couple other products as well. Dayton makes some really nice smokers. And so if you're wanting a great smoker that's going to last decades, this is the smoker to get. They work very well for us. I've got three of my own. Well, Laurel's got one of them. And then we also have um, one that we, again, we're going to be shipping to somebody um, here in the future. They have a lot of other cool products like this hive tool here brushes these are like the frame feeders that we use right here um, I mean they're just here's some pollen patty stuff right here even though we use ultra B AP 23 does work very well it's just we have closer and better access to ultra B and I mean you got you just got all kinds of products over here check out some of these hive tools I really like some of these because they're super thin that's so important to me this one right here goodness I could shave with that it's um, it's you can get it at Dayton, and I really like the look of this hive tool. It's just super thin. That is, that is awesome. That's what I want in a hive tool right there. All right, we got a couple other things from over here. Um, of course, we got vitamin B healthy amino B booster. Again, a lot of people have asked me about that stuff. I don't use that stuff myself just because I. I haven't found it necessary, but a lot of people really like those products. We did get one of these. I really like these. <laughs> Got gloves, portrait catalogs. This right here is really nice. I know people that have used this stuff, and it's like $24, $25. It's a premium lip balm kit, and even though, um, I think, let's see. I think you can make like up to six lip balm tubes and six tubs, but it gives you like the ingredients, it gives you the instructions, and you can take that and you can grow from that and produce those as part of your apiary products, and they're really, really nice. And for twenty odd dollars, that's a great gift for a beekeeper that you know for Christmas. Tent, tent. All right, let's head this way. All right, so this is where a lot of the food stuff was, and you know. Here in the South, we're really good at a lot of things, and eating and drinking coffee and all the other foods, we're really good at that as well. Don't, don't roll your eyes at me. All right, so we've got a lot of people in classes and stuff um, as well, like the last bit of stuff like that, and uh, it's, it's been really fun meeting a lot of you guys. You see they're wrapping up. This is a great way, if you come to this conference, as well to plan out and you can call like Dayton, Man Lake, Kelly's and say hey I want this product and they will bring it out here for you no shipping or anything like that a lot of times they'll have some deals here so you just watch out for that um, let's let's move on down to some of the other stuff we've seen a lot of products you uh, just got all kinds of lotions and soaps and bee jewelry and all kinds of stuff like that now over here, this is um, a different style of beekeeping than what, what we do, but Dr. Leo has um, a, a way of doing beekeeping that uses a thicker hive, especially for northern beekeepers. This is really handy. Um, he's got a lot of literature on it. They're, they're really deep and um, different styled hives, but you know it's still really cool. We're going to hope to try something like this in the future. And the nice thing again about being a hobbyist is you have more flexibility, I think, with um, choosing what you do and uh, this is really cool he's got several books of his over here as well as others and, uh, he's got um, one of his more popular books is keeping bees with a smile so you might want to check that out so online this one is Let's check out the hive over here do you mind if we uh, mess with this hive just a second please go ahead all right so this this hive is really cool right here you can see you got entrance yes. dealio over here. But look how deep these frames are in comparison to what we typically use um, in this area, which is the Langstroth frame. It's much longer and uh, they work really good. I've got a buddy of mine who, who has some of these and he really likes them. Just like with anything, there's advantages and disadvantages. One of the disadvantages, if it was full of honey, it would, it would be quite heavy, but so are my deep frames. And it, what's really nice about it is just, uh, especially if you have a really thick box. We had one earlier that was like a 
two inch thick wood. It was just it has really good insulative properties, and especially again for northern beekeepers, that's a big deal. And for hobby beekeepers, that's a great idea. Moving on down the line, right, so we've got all kinds of cool jewelry, which unfortunately doesn't really look good with my hairstyle. <laughs> but for you chicks. These things are really cool. Uh, my daughter loves all these things right here, and I don't even know 100% what they're called. But um, my wife has got some, Kathleen's got some, my mom's got some. They're really cool, and they've got some bee-related stuff as well, and some really neat um, local stuff here. So what we've had in some of these tables up here is there's been a lot of stuff like raffles and stuff where people either donate stuff, whether it's um, tickets to a bee conference, or whether it's types of honey, or maybe a bee wax candle set or whatever, and there's just been a whole string of them down here. They already gave them away, but you can you know, write down how much you're willing to pay for it, and the, the donations go towards helping beekeeping um, in this state, whether it's putting on this conference or, or other things like that, helping bee clubs out. So, now over here, there's not much left. And I apologize, we got to this really late. But you can see there's still a little bit left where they had the honey competitions and you can see jars of honey and how they graded and, and how good they did. We, we typically don't do this because uh, I got burnout doing competitions in bluegrass years ago and you know our customers like our honey good enough. We might try this next year. But um, here's one. Here's uh, Jennifer Saruta down there. She is our new state apiarist doing her class. And um, we're really excited to have her now as our state apiarist. Um, the other fellow retired, and she came in. And, of course, when you get somebody new, you don't know what to expect. But I've been really impressed every time that I've talked to her. And I'm really excited about the things that she might change and, and encourage throughout the state of Tennessee. So it's been so awesome meeting all of you guys. And thanks for watching our videos. We hope that with the products that we've got today that we're going to be able to uh, do some videos that maybe help you make good decisions or just maybe think about something new so anyways thanks again for watching our videos and if you like it um let somebody know about it have a good one